Okay, I have another comic book haul for you guys. Um, remember on my last video I was saying how I was I went to an LCS, they had a huge sale. Um, so most of my books are gonna be from that, but real quickly I wanted to go over some books I bought this past week. It's very small, it's very quick, and I can let you know what I bought at the store this past week. Um, we'll start off with this one, Batman Mr. Freeze. It is definitely more of a hot book right now because it's the first full appearance of Nora Fries, who's uh, in the storyline, current storyline, I guess, is pretty evil and coming out of her cryogenic freeze. So this one has been gaining popularity. I got this book for five bucks. Uh, why not? Uh, might as well make it work and go. Um, next book I got at the store. I paid $3 for this one. I have shown this one before on another haul. It's just a Superman 38 New 52 1 in 50 variant with Stargirl on the cover. There aren't many uh, Stargirl covers and variants, so uh, this one, when I see it at the right price, I will buy all day long. Um, it's probably, realistically, $15 book. Uh, this one... I needed to complete my run of the Annihilation set. It was cover price. It was four fifty, or it was a little more. It was four fifty. Uh, why not? I needed it. Uh, this one technically goes for more, but it was priced based on condition. It's got some dents up there. But for two dollars, I needed it to complete the run. Uh, I can be a placeholder till I find another good deal on um, a better copy. Uh, this one here was six fifty. Uh, the reason why I got that one, it's a nice condition, it's good. Batman 415 um, in the uh, Rob Pattison Batman movie. The Joker's gonna, not the Joker, the Riddler is gonna be in it. And he's going by a different name and he that name was used for the first time in this Batman book. So, eh, $6, $6.50 for a Batman book. Why not? This one was cover. Uh, first appearance of Spider Zero, I think is her name. Um, it's, a, it's a very new book. Uh, wanted to get it, why not? And the last book I bought at the stores, $7, Aquaman 41. It's a variant. It's a great uh, Aquaman um, Mara cover. I don't really know what the ratio is, but $7 is a pretty good price for it. It probably goes from 10 to 15 So it wasn't a steal, but it was a deal. Okay, that was all we bought at the, uh, the stores this week, but I was talking about a sale. So what they do, they have uh, um, all these boxes right there in the parking lot, it's a big tent, and you can go and fill a long box and for $55. This next batch here are all books I, uh, some highlights from my long box I filled for $55. Uh, Wizard number 11 spawn cover still sealed and they also had wizard number 29 spawn cover still sealed So that was pretty cool um, Now we'll just go random stuff. I just found filling up the long box Adam Hughes cover ride number one Adam Hughes cover ride number two uh, Green Lantern Sinestro Corp special it is the first print and the fourth print so I filled that up with it. Um, we're just searching, trying to find anything that has any meaning, trying to fill that long box. Witchblade number 10, first appearance of darkness. Uh, Harley Quinn 23.2, uh, Batman Detective. Uh, Har it, uh, it's not the 3D cover, but it's still a Harley Quinn cover. Captain America 34, when Bucky becomes Captain America. Infinite Crisis. Uh, Jamie Reyes becomes Blue Beetle, Infinite Crisis number three and number three. Uh, both are when Jamie, that's the first appearance of Jamie Reyes. Spider-Man 2099. Image United number one, I believe that's a Jim Lee cover. Uh, that one might go for 10 bucks. I don't know, I really have to do more research on it. Um, and this one here, Captain Britain. And MI13 number one. So those were pretty good finds in the box. I have more that I'm going to show from the box that I filled up for $55. This was a really nice one. It needs a press. It looks like it's got some some damages down there. I don't know if you really can see it, but Lady Killer number one. If it was mint condition, that's a $30 book. In the condition it is, it's it's obviously not, but uh, that's cool. 
Uh, Voodoo number one, Adam Hughes cover. Or I don't know if, I don't think that's an Adam Hughes cover, but this one definitely is Voodoo number three. Um, I wish they had number one. I would have had the set, but they got Flashpoint, Batman, number two, and number three. So those are good to fill out. Um, this I was shocked to find and no one picked it up. It wasn't uh, even in my box here, but Batman week 11 uh, from 52. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of them from Batman week 11. First appearance of Bat Kate Kane as Batwoman. And number seven, it's the first appearance of Kate Kane. Um, this was definitely one of the higher highlights of the fine wind fill in the box. Secret Avengers 23. Can't go wrong. Uh, yeah, now we're getting to some of the better ones here that I put aside. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's show them. Um, Dark Horse Presents number 50. Um, it's got a Tank Girl uh, ad on the back cover. It predates early tank girls so eh, whatever it's not nothing I would ever buy probably but uh, it was in the uh, fill in the box trying to make things happen this one it's a white cover it's got some dirtiness on it but for the most part presents really well power girl 27 it's like a 50 to 75 dollar book easy and it was just laying there to be picked up so that was a great find teenage mutant ninja turtles IDW cover C and number one and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two. Hey, you can't go wrong with those. Aquaman number two, New 52, first appearance of Trench King. Uh, second print, Flash number one, DC New 52. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter number five. I think this is the first appearance of Raw. So that one goes for 10, 15 bucks, easy. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Let me see what else I found that was pretty cool. All new Ghost Rider number one. First appearance of uh, that Ghost Rider. Now, um, I'm, his name is uh, skipping my mind, but that was cool. Uh, Marvel Point One, number one. First appearance of Sam Alexander. A Valiant Book, Raw number one. This one makes me laugh. I found another Star Slayer, The Log of the Jolly Roger number two. Um, that is the first appearance of the Rocketeer. Uncanny X-Force number four. I mean, that goes for like 10 bucks. It used to be more popular, um, but it has a, um, some, sort, some sort of first appearance I can't think of right now. Uh, this one was a good find as well. First appearance of the Black Order. Uh, New Avengers number eight. Can't go wrong with that. This one was just funny to me. I don't know. People talk about it. Mr. T and the T-Force. It's worth nothing. I just like it. Made me happy to find it. Um, Bloodshot 37. This one kind of picked up some heat a couple weeks back. First appearance of, of the rumored villain in the Bloodshot movie. Um, I don't really know what it's going for right now, but that's kind of neat. And Amazing Fantasy number one. Number one. And number one. So three copies of that. That's the first appearance of this character, Ariana or something like that. She's one of the Spider-Verse people. Um, let's see what else I found. Um, that was pretty much it. I found some Valiant stuff. Uh, what the heck, I'll show, oh no, I got a couple more. I got some Valiant stuff I just grabbed, trying to fill the box. I haven't even bagged and bored them yet, but you know, Magnus Robe at Fighter number 12, first appearance of Turok in the Valiant universe. Magnus Robe at Fighter number two. Um, you know, I'm just trying to fill this box to make it worthwhile. A couple Magnus Robe at Fighters number three. Um, so number four, so of course the five is the good one, uh, and that one, I only found one. Um, what the heck, I, I just got some number sixes. They're just early Valiant, pre-Unity. And number seven, number seven something. I don't know why I can't think of it right now. It's, it's uh, slipping my mind. It's the first, it's first something. But that was kind of cool. And I don't know, I got, I got a lot more to show from I found that fill that box. I came across a Tomb Raider section that was just there to fill. It's an Adam Hughes cover, Tomb Raider 47. The Adam Hughes cover and the other version. Um, they also had 48. These obviously aren't in any order. 
Oh no, here's here's 48. Oh, that 48. That's 46. Sorry. And here's another 46. That one's an Adam Hughes cover. Uh, this is an Adam Hughes cover, Tomb Raider 45. Um, I'm not sure. This might be Adam Hughes. It kind of looks like him. Number 41. Number 44, that one is. Number 43, that one is. Number 42, that one is. Um, Witchblade and Tomb Raider um, Direct Forces Edition. Eh, why not? Um, Tomb Raider Arabian Nights. I don't know. I just grabbed it. Fill in that box. Got to get that box full. And this one, I believe, is an Adam Hughes cover, too. I'm not sure. Tomb Raider Journeys, number three. I wish they had Tomb Raider Journeys, number one. That's a, that's a great Adam Hughes cover. That's pretty popular. Um, and, oh, yeah, it says we're on the Tomb Raider theme of the box. Um, I got a bunch more Journeys. Show them real quick. Five, six, seven, eight nine and ten so those are the all the tomb raider journeys five through ten um i'm not sure what this is this looks like i don't know if it's convention exclusive or something but it's a fathom book i got to do more research on it honestly i don't know it was filled in the box why not um the other thing when it comes to fathom um i probably wish i looked at them better because when i took them home i realized that, because uh, I think they had a bunch more, I just grabbed a few that I liked and, and did it. So here, this is a Michael Turner cover, I believe. It's Fathom, Direct Forces Edition, and usually they come with a certificate of authenticity or something, but that one does not have it. That probably affects the value. Um, that's just a regular cover. And then I found number 13, and 13 is gold on top, so I don't know if that's a, that's a Michael Turner cover, uh, Fathom 13, Direct Forces, and this one, did have the certificate of authenticity so that one was good i should have checked them all and here's a blue one i don't know if the blue fathom 13 direct force is different and it also has a certificate of authenticity and i also got some 14s a blue and a gold one but there's no certificate on the back so i wish i looked on that pile i just grabbed a couple filling it um got more uh, I don't really know if they go for much, but uh, they're still kind of cool, probably hard to find, and I've never seen them before. And I'm like, oh, two of each, that'll be good, I'll keep going. But I should have checked the back on, on all of them, and I didn't do that. That's my mistake. Um, and we'll get some more in the box. Got another pile here that I filled. Image United, number two. It's a spawn cover. It's got to be worth something, so I got it. Um, Ultimate Fantastic 421. This is the variant. This is the first appearance of Marvel Zombies. So with that, you can't go wrong. Um, Witchblade Darkness. So it's Darkness Zero and Witchblade 10. That's some sort of something, I know. Um, sorry, I don't know much about it. It's just, it looked cool. Obviously, it's something different. I don't own it. It's going to my collection. Um, so I was happy about that. Um, Blue Beetle. Just Blue Beetle number one, Jamie Reyes. If, did they do anything with him? This is his number one um, in his self-titled series. This is just the third print. I don't know if I wish it was like a, the fourth print DCU logo, but um, third print finishing Doomsday storyline. Why not? Grimjack number twenty-six. I know this is a turtle, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, are in it somehow, and I know. It's one of the early color Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I don't think it really it's worth much, but when it's for, you know, buy this box, throw it in there. Why not? Do it. I'll do it. Same thing. Why well, I got Darkness number one. It's number one. Let's do it. So I did it. Uh, Invincible 89. Um, I don't really know too much about this one, but it might be something important. I don't know. Uh, this one I was really happy to find. Gen 13 number one and it's the newsstand so that's like a 10 15 dollar book easy um i wish they had number one but i found number four <laughs> um adam blue marvel i think that's like a 10 dollar book right now too so that was cool uh young avengers presents hulkling okay that's kind of i don't think that's worth much of anything but still it's kind of cool um here's gen 13 number one it's definitely one of the variants i think it's the heavy metal variant is what it's called and 
hey, it's in, it's in great condition and it was just sitting there to be put in my box and go. Um, this one I was happy, if you watch my videos, you know I like the spoof comics. I found a spoof comics, uh, Soft Corpse. Um, yeah, I don't have that one. And the last one I think I'm gonna show that I found in the box that was kind of cool. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't even see it on eBay because I thought it might be something. But this is Adam Hughes um, Ride. Uh, so it looks just like the other one. The only difference is it's got a different color here and it's the Road Edition. And, and it says 10 bucks on top. So this was probably some sort of promo that predates um, the very first appearance of, of number one. So, you know, I thought it was cool. I like Adam Hughes. Uh, it has a 10 bucks price on it. I got it part of a box for $55. Awesome. So those are basically the highlights from the tent sale. And I have inside the store, everything was half off. So what I got this, this was all half off and I have the price. Most of them still have the price on it. So I know. So this is Green Lantern 46, I think 46, 48, 49 and 50. So it's for four comics. It's there 49 and 46 are in the middle there. I just put that one in the front because it's kind of cool. Um, that one was, it had a $20 price tag on it. So those four comics were $10. Obviously that was a couple weeks ago right now with the rumors of Kyle Rayner and Green Lantern. This is definitely a good buy um, to look ahead and do stuff. And not only did I get one of, of those four comics for $10, I got two. So I have uh, the Emerald Twilight set and number 46 for $10 each. So yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Also inside, uh, like I said, let's see the stickers on it. It was, I paid half. I can kind of show these real quick and then we're done. Invincible number 144, this is the last issue. Uh, 625 was the cover price, so I paid half of 625. Uh, I am now, I got some Gotham City Sirens. I am now three comics away from completing the set, and they're random ones, they're not even the early ones. It's like number 19, number 20, and I think like eight or something. I don't know, it's off of memory, I have, to, I have it written down. But Gotham City Sirens number 14, uh, I had a $6 price tag on it, so I got it for $3. Number 13, I paid $3 for it. And apparently number 9 was $4 because it has an $8 price tag on it. So I'm almost completed the set. Um, this one uh, was $15, so I paid $7.50 for this. I got $15, I think it's a good price. Cable and Deadpool, uh, number 50. It's uh, the first appearance of uh, a venomized Deadpool. Yeah, okay. Um, all new Hawkeye, number one, it was two fifty. dollars uh, That's the half off price. It was a variant, Hawkeye is all the rage, why not? Uh, these were marked three twenty-five. dollars I got two of them. I believe this is the first appearance of Craven's daughter. It's not really worth anything, but to buy it for less than $2 a piece, might as well sit on them, you never know, maybe they'll go up someday. Um, Black Widow, obviously popular, it's the second print, you never know what's going on that. It had a 425 price tag on it, so I got half of that. Uh, this one I was really happy to find. Ewoks, number one, from the Star Comics. Uh, I got it for 250. That's the half off price, so. Um, and it's in pretty good condition. Obviously, it's not Jim Mint 9.8, but it's, it's nice. It's fine, very fine, um, pretty good. Um, this one, I'm not sure if they realized it was the Chrome variant, because it's all sparkly. And there was a time I really wanted this one, and I remember thinking, this is back when Walking Dead was hot. Um, you know, contemplating buying it for $30 back in the day, but I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that. But it was uh, half of 1025. Can't go wrong with that. Here's Exiles number one, it's a variant. I don't know the ratio, who knows if it is. Uh, it might be a cover B, who knows. But um, I don't. But it, you know, it had, uh, uh, the new Valkyrie on it, so I got it. Uh, preload to Black as Night number 40. It's just a second print. It was 325. Half of that is what I paid for it. Uh, this one I got for 150. You know me, I'm a sucker for the DC Universe. This, these, these like 500 Batman, like 515 to 530 ish, those seem to be a little bit harder to find when it comes to the Batman DC universes. This one really is, this is 531. It's not really worth that much, but it's it's kind of hard to find. So I was happy to get that one half off for $1.50. Uh, 
Uh, here's a 1 in 25 variant, 250 convergence, kind of a cool cover. Uh, same thing with this one. Uh, Contest of Champions, first appearance of Silver Fox. She's on the cover, half off, why not? Uh, these, I was really happy and surprised. They looked like they had been in the bin for a while. But uh, Contest of Champions, number two, the variant. And I had two of them, they were $7, so they were $3.50 each. Uh, this is just one I didn't have. The price was right, $1.50. Uh, West Coast Avengers, number 45, first appearance of um, the white vision when he's all white. So, why not? Um, Fall of Hulks, number three, J. Scott Campbell cover. Okay, it was half of $4.25. Uh, this one, I wasn't sure what it was. I even looked it up uh, right before I bought it, so I thought, wow, that's a cool find. I didn't even know it was there. Big Hero One Shot. I've seen these go for $30 on eBay when I was looking it up. And uh, it was nine, had a $9.25 price tag, so I got it for like $4.50, $4.5. Um, Big Hero One Shot. Cool. I like it. Um, now we're getting to so a little bit more. Uh, what if the other, it was $5. I, I would not have paid any more from that. I think I was just in a buying mood. It might be a $10 book, really, and that's what the price tag was. But uh, for $5, hey, why not? These I were happy to see. And even at $5, that's probably a good price because they probably go for $10, $10 easy all day long. I got two Suicide Squad, uh, number 26, uh, $2.50 each. Uh, Bitter Root, number one, that's been optioned. So it was like two and some change because it's got a $4.25 cover price. Uh, this was $5, Gideon Falls, number one. It's uh, it's a variant, uh, and it's been optioned. And we're down to my last few. They're really in no order. I haven't really saved the best for last or anything like that. This was uh, the price tag I must have torn off, but it was probably like two bucks uh, out the door. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number five. It's the first appearance of that particular Spider-Woman. Uh, her name is escaping me at the moment. Uh, Moon Knight is all the rage. Moon Knight 56, that was $5 out the door. And this one, I believe, doesn't have a price tag on it. I must have taken it off. It was $9, so it was like $5, $4.50 uh, out the door. Uh, Sandman 22, it's got a, a couple first appearances, and uh, it, it can go for $20, $30 bucks online. So it was, I thought that was a good buy at five. So that was my haul. It was definitely a fun, uh, a fun sale, and I, I think I did pretty well. And I'm happy to share. And... I'm enjoying, uh, I'm enjoying sharing and thank you everybody for watching.